Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Wolong Let's Play. So last time we broke into Jaron's estate from the sewers, and we're trying to bust him for <coughs> elixir gathering and experimentation on humans, but we need to find the last marking flag. So we're in one of these book rooms or a library where scrolls are stored. There are two of them. This is the one with the broken ladder. And there's a secret room, if nobody can calm down, up here. Right here, when you see the bookcase, there's a hole above it. And we can flip our way into it. And then descend our way down. But before we do that, there is loot here. The tablet here. So we have the Magnet's Note, a tablet found in the library of Zhang Rang's manor in Luoyang. It appeared to be left by Zhang Rang. After countless hours of dedication, the time is upon us. With this power that even the first emperor of Qin thought in my hands, we will live forever by his majesty's side. Our internal empire will rise. So we're back to looking for the elixir of life. The eternal quest of Chinese emperors. As you can see over there, there's our final marking flag. Not sure if there's any enemies here though. I don't think so. We are on the second floor of the room where we fought Bai Shu. But that completes it. I don't think there's any other loot here. So we are just gonna go back, get our save point right outside of the area where we fight the boss, and we're gonna see who is here to challenge us. I highly doubt we're gonna be fighting Zhang Rang himself. It's all cleared. There's no one left here, so we're just gonna dash on over. Grab this save. Level up as well, I think. We want a bit more damage. We can get three points into fire. But if we get three points into wood, we can get a pretty similar amount. Hmm. Spirit defense goes up, which helps. Total health goes up. Damage goes up quite a bit as well. Let's do this. Let's balance it between earth and wood. I think everything else is fine. Let's fight the boss. Ben Hall, Zhang Mang Zhen. Lai Zhe He Ren. Zhang Gong Gong, Bia Lai Wu Yang. Bu Zhi San Bo Ke Yi Dan Yao Zhi Ren. 可是公公您如今证据确凿何从狡辩哼原来已经沦为妖魔你这无理之徒本侯府邸岂容人说来便来 Okay, this is new. 
We're gonna use the Tianlong early. Boost the obey and ooh, they're casting spells all over the place. I don't even know if I should lock on to anyone. Ooh. Maybe we should focus on the red attack. Alright, one down. Guess we could just kill all of them. Because clones are not particularly strong. They died just the same. Alright, we're gonna focus on whoever we can lock onto. This one feels like the real one, actually. He doesn't die easy like the rest of them. Did we kill all the clones? We have. Ooh, that hurt. There is one more clone. Let me go kill the last clone. Don't know if he becomes weaker at that point or not, but I assume so. This is the real one. His spirit gauge is ready super low. I think that's what we did by killing his clones. Give ourselves a life steal here. Fancy work on the blade. I can't follow him. There we go. We broke his spirit gauge. We have Tunnel again. We're gonna use it again. Oh, he got clones back. Okay. We just killed him. No, no big deal. I'm not gonna lock onto anyone. Or else it's too hard to fight the clones. Alright. We got stabbed. Ooh. The real one. Ow, his spell hurts. Ow. We're losing a lot of morale rank. And a lot of health. Ow. Okay, we can counter that. I'm out of... We'll have one more health pot, but... Not good, not good. Can't see what I'm trying to block. Okay, it got a little crowded. He's almost dead. We can beat him. We just gotta try this again. This is a very interesting representation of the 10 eunuchs in a sense, because we're fighting multiples. We can get a couple easy kills, maybe build up our morale rank a little bit, because we'll get half of it back. We only lost five points. So we just need to be at 22 or 23, and the moment we meet him, we should get it back to 25. We'll get a quick couple kills here and there. come over here. I don't want to get the demonized officer on us. And we also need to summon Liu Bei again. Wait, did we miss this loot? It was under one of the pots. I'm glad we came back, because we 
Definitely miss this. We're gonna reset this to grab a reinforcement back. Lobe's the only general that's not rank five yet. He's the same rank as Tal Tal. Another tiger seal to be used. We could have potentially waited till we're back at morale rank 25, so that they're at morale rank 25, but I don't think their battle capacity is gonna really determine how well we do. I think I was just a little confused over how to approach that fight. I think if we just hit whoever's in front of us, kill them quickly, knock down his spear gauge, and then execute him essentially. It won't be too bad of a fight. Our Divine Beast counter is also back. Alright, we're at 22, very close to 23. I think if we can get a 23, it'll be safer. The big guy doesn't drop anything. At least I don't think he does. Or maybe there's not a high chance of dropping something. Where's the Shrigui? Oh, oops, I forgot he's here. Alright, we're 23. Kinda wanna kill the Shrigwe. Can't get a jump on them though. Maybe from here, when she passes by. There we go. I think there is a regular soldier and a dog here as well. Where's the regular soldier? I see him, I see him. Did he spot me already? Okay, now he did. All right, 24 is good enough. Once we meet him, we'll get 25 right away, and we should be able to, to uh, we're gonna grab the heal and reset our pots. Let's go take him down. All right, I'm not gonna go for his real one. It's not very rewarding to go after it. We can't... We can't... Hold on, that is a real one. Alright, killed one there. That's the real guy, I don't want to fight the real guy. Wow, okay. We're hurting the, the spirit gauge of the real one by killing his clones. And they're really easy to kill, so I think this is win-win. One spirit attack knocks their... They don't have a lot of spirit. So one spirit attack means we can execute. Makes it fairly easy for the kill. This is when things get a little bit tricky. Cast spells and fly. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. We want to break his spirit, cut him down. Is he going to cast again? He did. Okay, so we go after them again. We'll just go for spirit attack. Ooh, these are tougher actually the second time around. I just notice. Ooh. They have more spirit. Or perhaps they share spirit. Actually, I don't know. Because the real one has more spirit right now, 
the fake one also have more spirit, so I can't break them as easily as before, but they're still very easy to kill. Okay, now his spirit's low. Yeah, I think they share spirit. So now I can go after their spirit attack and kill them quickly. We still have Tune only in our back pocket. Alright, all his clones are down again. Out of spirit myself. There we go. He's down. <笑>有了这些要筑起万世之业也非难事 看来有人抢先一步。从今往后，这天下定将更加混乱。若此乃天意，也罢，曹某当奉陪到底，直至扑灭战乱之火。眼下大汉天命飘摇，内外交困，将来只怕不知会有几人称帝，几人称王。既如此，曹某当为国家讨贼立功，还天下以太平安定。英雄莫问出处，贤才不论清浊。而若欲建功立业，曹某当显出相迎。看我等如朱雀一般，浴火腾飞，直冲云霄。战事已尽，必须逃离京师，募兵备战。孟德，就等你一声令下了。该到我等乔佩子弟大显身手之时了。嗯So we got Zhu Chue, the phoenix from Cao Cao, and the man who killed Zhang Rang there was Dong Zhuo, who will take over in the capital. Obviously not the historical version of the tale, but it's interesting interpretation, as well as Cao Cao and Zhang Rang's encounter, which is also a pretty famous story of Cao Cao trying to sneak into Zhang Rang's house and fought his way out. It's rather fictional, but it is a well-known story.
就在张让遭到诛杀之后，丹药不翼而飞。与此同时，性情残暴的董卓以强大的兵力掌控了京师。袁绍和曹操怀疑董卓与丹药有所关联，决定起兵讨伐董卓。在两颗匠心的号召下，无数光辉集结而来，结成了足有十八路大军的反董卓联盟。啊啊啊看急不急，赶往河下水。公孙将军麾下，兵威赵云。真不愧是孙将军。还没完。带我取下华雄的首级！慢着，不服，不可冒进！要让董贼见识我孙氏之勇武，跟我冲！本初，此战胜局已定。嗯。诸位，讨伐逆贼董卓的时机已到，全军突击！啊、嗯，是尔等啊,啊，嗯，此次也为我军奋勇立功吧，务必要小心。姑娘可是叫红晶，不知能否前往照顾我军伤员？你让洒家带着丹药退往梅雾。是，就由吕布阻挡敌军，为义父争取时间。那就交给你了，吕布。Alrighty, we're at Hu Lao Guan, Hu Lao Guan, or Hu Lao Gate Pass, and、uh, Liu Bu is waiting for us. So first, let's have a chat with the ladies. 看来有很多伤员，治疗就交给我。听说孙将军仍在前方奋战，你若赶到那里，或许能帮上忙。从张让的府邸不翼而飞的丹药。若要追查去向，看来必须重返洛阳了。若要追查去向，自诸位离开之后，京师遭遇了巨大动乱。并州牧董卓率军以武力控制了朝廷，目前还无从得知，董卓为何突然实力大增。此虎牢关乃是镇守连通洛阳之道的关门，董卓军也将会死守此处。若低估董卓，恐将遭受重创，请多加小心。若低估董卓，请多加小心。All right, let's see. Nothing behind us. Let's move forward. I mean, it's definitely Lixers. They have a zombie army. So before we proceed here with Hu Lao Guan and the boss will definitely be Liu Bu, with Hua Xiong being the mini boss, I think it's time to explore some sub battlefield that we have skipped or has just appeared. There's two actually: Escape from the Capital and the Virtuous Trio or the the Valorous Trio. We're in 
Part 4 Tyranny, there was only two main battlefield here in 184, which makes sense because there's a lot of story that we need to move forward with Dongzhuo coming in. Uh, Dongzhuo would not be in the capital 184. Uh, Dongzhuo was out west. Uh, he failed his campaign. Actually, he might be in prison in the capital in 184. He was assigned to replace Lu Zhi as the commander in the north against the old turbans. Did a very poor job of sieging Guangzhong. Was sacked and imprisoned for taking heavy losses. After the war was over, there was a grand pardon in the land and he was released and restored to a minor position out west and took part in the Liang Rebellion. So in 184, he was fully still in prison and by 185, he went out west. He's from the west, so he went back to his home region. Even though the fight against the Liang rebels went very poorly overall, he was one of the few units that came back with minimum loss as they were the complete unit that was managed to escape. So he was rewarded for that, and he became the Bim province, I believe, prefect, not governor. There's a small difference. But when he was in Hedong region and told to get reassigned, he moved his men, I think about 5,000, close to the capital, observing the chaos that was unfolding with the death of Emperor Liu Hong, which already happened but was not talked about. He would die suddenly before he was 30, leaving behind two very young child, and that's when the eunuchs got slaughtered because the regent He Jin, who is the stepbrother of their mother, the new emperor Liu Bian's mother, Empress Dowager He, stepbrother is the Grand General He Jin, was summoned to the court in a meeting with his sister, but he was ambushed by the eunuchs assassins and was killed which led to the bloodbath inside the palace. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao went into the palace as they were subordinates of He Jin and supporters of the faction that He Jin represented. They slaughtered all the eunuchs, and Zhang Rang and a small group escaped with both the emperor and his younger brother, but they bumped into Dong Zhuo's army outside the capital and were captured. Zhang Rang was killed at that moment, so technically having Dong Zhuo kill Zhang Rang was a historical move, but it just didn't have anything to do with the elixirs in his own estate. And Dong Zhuo returns back to the capital as the savior of the emperor and his younger brother. Dong Zhuo becomes sort of a semi-regent in the void that He Jin's death left, and he had the most men, he absorbed He Jin's army as well as He Miao's army, and eventually took down the captain of the city guard, whose name is Ding Yuan. Lü Bu's former boss, Lü Bu betrays him and joins forces with Dong Zhuo, who bribes him historically with wealth, and Lü Bu was very happy to elevate himself through Dong Zhuo. That relationship obviously will eventually fracture, which we'll see develop over time here, I'm sure. Dong Zhuo's reign was short-lived, but while he was in Luoyang, he tried to give an olive branch to the gentry class by assigning a bunch of them administrator roles, including People like Yuan Shao, who was given the administrator of Bohai in the north, but all this did was give them opportunity to set up a coalition against him, as no one saw his rule as legitimate. Especially after he tried to switch the emperor, he preferred the younger brother Liu Xie, who will eventually become emperor, as he will poison uh, the, or well, they'll basically get rid of the older brother. And after that point, basically they had a very legit. Kaza Belly against Dong Zhuo, and the whole coalition with a forged letter started by um, Qiao Xuan from the Dong Commandery basically started to attack Dong Zhuo's position. Now, the Battle of Sichui Gate is historical. The Battle of Hulao Gate cannot be historical because Hulao Gate was not constructed yet historically. It's a gate that was built during the Tang Dynasty, so it existed when the author of the novel wrote the book but during the Han Dynasty, there was no Hulao Gate. But it's so famous from the novel that's just part of the story now with Lü Bu guarding this. Lü Bu did take part in many battles in the defense against the coalition. Most of them ended in failure. Uh, one of them, he sabotaged his own army because they did not like their own commander. Hu Zhen was a terrible man, so 
deservingly so, and that's the battle that Hua Xiong got killed. Hua Xiong was not a general either. He was a officer of logistics. He was in charge of supplies. He got killed in the fighting because of the chaos that Lu Bu and a couple other lieutenants uh, caused against their own officer, commanding officer Hu Zhen, and Hua Xiong was slayed by Sun Jian's forces. So that part of the story is also a little off, but overall very exciting time as we'll see the Battle of Hulao Gate unfold. But before we do that, we're going to go back, as I mentioned, and do a couple of these sub-battlefield. I believe some of them are going to be quite easy. This one feels like it's at a new map, which is quite interesting, but this one is still in Zhang Rang's estate. So let's see who is trying to run out of the capital. My guess is Cao Cao and the Xia Hou cousins. We met them, Xia Hou Dun and Xia Hou Yuan. They are cousins and they're related to Cao Cao as in-laws. Cao Cao's wife, Lady Ding, is sisters with Xia Hou Yuan's wife, Lady Ding. They're married into the same clan, so they're in-laws, which is why they're so close. They're also from the same hometown, so the relationship is built over generations. An unknown force have invaded Luoyang and surrounded Zhang Rang's manor. Their leader appears to be anything but medi uh, mediocre. They, their garb suggests they don't hail from Luoyang, but there's no time to ponder such things, escape the dangerous situation as soon as possible. This might be Dong Zhuo's men taking the capital, sort of a follow-up to what we just did. So let's try this. Alrighty, it's Cao Cao and myself escaping John Rang's manor. And just continuing off the story we've been telling, for those who are interested in historical tales, there are Let's Talk Lore series on the channel, especially covering this period. Alright, as I was saying, for those interested in history, there's Let's Talk Lore series on the channel where we do cover historical events in the Three Kingdoms period. And for this one in particular, since we are jumping quite a bit of time from 184 to 190, the Fall of the Han series, the Yellow Turban Rebellion series, Rise of Dong Zhuo, Cao Cao's early life, Yuan Shao's early life, all will cover this time period in great detail for those who are interested. So I think we might as well summon some extra help. We are in the capital, we have Liu Bei follow us. Doesn't really make sense for Liu Bei to be here. I guess Hong Jin would be the only one that would make slight lore sense here. She was guarding the well for us. Maybe she came over to check on us when it got surrounded. Ooh, archers have great sight. I think we are ranked 10 in the beginning. Now, if these are Dong Zhuo's men, then we might be fighting the Flying Bear Army, Fei Xiongjun is elite cavalry force. Oh, there's another archer over there. He's standing in a very nice oh, puddle, which is easy to kill. I want to kill the other archer first. Ow. Right, that puddle also took out our spirit. Let me see him miss, and then we'll get a shot. All right, we traded blows, but my kill them. Archers are the least of our problems. Well, he did drop loot. Can we make this jump? Oh, it'd be really nice if we can make this jump. There we go. Now, Dong Zhuo's sudden success in the capital comes a lot from intimidation. He didn't have that many men in the beginning. He only brought 5,000 with him to the capital. 
but he was able to intimidate other forces and absorb them. He probably will drop some arrows for us. Yep, that we can reload. They have warlocks? They didn't want to fall. I think we'll go back and actually collect what we came to collect. There's a marking flag over there. Oh, this jump is tricky. It looks like we can stop by that ledge on the left, but we can't. So I think we just have to clear the whole gap in one go. Or walk a little bit more and then jump. Another archer. Clear that. We're probably going to have to go to the other side now. Trying to find other archers because they would have the best. Ooh, didn't want to activate both of them. Hmm, tricky. Okay, so he's down. Hmm, his attack made us lose a morale rank. A little sad about that. Now, there was loot over here last time. Let's see if we can find something this time as well. The red haze can hide the glow of the item, but in this case, nothing. This is a pretty extensive stage, given that there's three major flag spanners. Ooh. Good puppy. Alright, we managed to sneak behind. Our morale our, not morale, our, our spirit gauge is just constantly negative for some reason. We have a debuff on us that's not gone yet. Gotta be careful, because any attack will stun us. Well, oh, that's gone. Huh. Our debuff disappeared as soon as we fatal attacked him. I think this guy is alone now. Kill the warlock here. There's another soldier right there. Looks like a zombie soldier. Oh yeah, it's demonized inside. It's this debuff. It's on us. Oh my god. We can't use martial arts because we have no spirit. Alright, they blocked that secret passage. Stage is not that huge. Can't jump. There we go. Someone saw us. Oh my god. That swing animation is wild. I 
All right, demonize officer. Probably can wait. We can go after him first. What rank is he? 13. I'm gonna turn around. He's too busy looking at the chest. Huh. Wait, that means we should be able to kick that ladder down. We're gonna have to get up there again from this side. Wait. No. Wrong side. Oh, I missed it. Okay, honestly, not easy jump. Ooh, not an easy jump. I think going on this ledge is the best shot. Oh, this might take a while. There we go. Let's kick this down first. Yeah, I figure the, the room going up still exists, so maybe there's a flag here. And a very big Hoshu. Let me protect my rank, which is the only thing I kind of care about here. Okay, his red attack timed out, and he completely whiffed his uh, aim. Ow, never mind, I lied. Ow! I couldn't get out of that. Such a small room. Ooh, Shan Yue Soldier's Garb. Four star plus two. We have quite a few four star items from this area. This one that we just got. I'm not sacrificing the heavy defense that we have right now. We got the commander's armor, which is a heavy armor that can match our current armor. Also got the Commander Graves, also a heavy armor. Poison accumulation. Ooh, this is good. I'll go take a look at that one. Assassin Garb, four star, toxin attack power. I think that's it. Wait, that's so unfortunate. Oh no, yeah, the other one with four stars, the one that we have four star of. Shine you a soldier's bracelet. Ooh, poison accumulation, but you can see the defense drops quite a bit here. Not sure it's worthwhile. Damage against enemy with negative effect, that makes sense. Honestly, that's not bad. But well, the sad thing is, this is the defense with plus two on it. And our, our piece here doesn't have any pluses. Yeah, I don't know if we can really swap. Shine Yue armor. We have like almost a full set of four star Shine Yue armor. Yeah, that defense drop on the armor is just too much.
Oh, we have a Han Soldier's Cap. Halberd damage. Not our version, I don't know. I think it's the one-handed one, not sure. Regardless, we're not gonna swap. I think the gear we have is perfectly fine. All right, let's go deal with some demonized officers and a warlock. Okay, I can we can deflect that. We'll go back to him. And then one quick arrow, he's dead. I wonder if we can. We definitely should be able to sneak behind him and get a jump on him. Ooh, Shitesho, another one. We just looked at all our four-star gear for you. I guess it would have to be one of our armor pieces. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking one of the one of the Shanyue pieces actually. Maybe Yellow Turban Champion. Commander is probably the set we will wear. We have three of the four Shanyue pieces. Maybe we keep those because we can collect that. Champion bracer, champion we had two champion bracers. Okay, so one of them is going away. That one's a plus one, so we'll keep that just because we, there's a sunken cost on that. Or we didn't upgrade it, but we could Salvage that in the future and get more from it. I think that makes sense. We drop the bracer here. Give us something good. It's lunchtime. Official seal. Luck is also on this. Not bad. Anyways, the big guy should be right under us. Where is he? Where am I blind? Oh. A little bit more forward. Okay, I mean, we could clear that jump and then sneak up behind him. Is that guy? Yeah, that guy is not friendly. There's another guy right there. Well, let's take care of him first. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna drag him over because we know there's more people there. He switched aggro on us. Alright, this guy's gonna try to jump us, but what if we jump him? Because I think we can. Oh, right. Fire just doesn't happen by random. Someone throwing at us. I think we cleared everything down here, just making sure because we got distracted by the guy throwing firebombs at us. Can't break these, huh? We got that one loot. I think that's it. Go to the other room now. The last banner flag. Anyone here? I'm surprised there's no one here. I mean, there's people down there. I'm just surprised no one's up here. Human attacks, easy to read. Why give us access to this? We already cleared over there. I made this jump. I guess we weren't supposed to make that jump, but we made it. That might be why. 
There is a warlock over there. Okay, we activated him. You can shoot your spell at me. That did not kill him because it bumped into something. He is the boss. Oh. Okay. Makes sense. Li Jue being the boss here does work for Dong Zhuo. We're gonna stab a bunch of flags, heal our guys. Just making sure we get all the loot first. This is the final room, so. We have another banner flag to use to heal. No rush, no rush. We can climb over here, pick up that chest. Please don't kill the Jue before I get everything. Uh, they're having trouble. It's okay. We got it. Heal! They just so frustrated. <laughs> Alright, you guys hang on. Just gotta clear a couple more things. Make sure... Yep. We can break this. I'm pretty sure we can break this. I broke it before. Yeah, by jumping into it. Alright, did you want to come down? I think we got everything. Uh, let's wait till our spirit comes back. Where is he? Did they... They're still up here. Did you it? You did so well. Let's uh, give our allies a boost and uh, counter you as well, apparently. Ooh. Oh, you had you had the same problem as me. Cape getting in your face. He's gone. Ooh. Too busy trying to kill Cao Cao? Where's Hong Jin? She's... down. Did she fall over here? Wait, she's upstairs. I want to heal her before it times out. Oh! What's up? Right. So it's not just these two, it's both of them. So he took down Hongjin. Hongjin, don't die, I'm gonna kill him real quick. Go, 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 go. She's up here. Ah, uh, we didn't get to heal her, but she retreated right before. Yeah, those two are gonna fight a civil war after Dong Zhuo's death as well. Well, actually, first they'll unite, take over from Lü Bu, and then fight a civil war afterward. We're gonna probably go back to Tianzhu Mountain just to get our gear all set up and turn in a few things, look at our Shijie Shou a little bit, and then we're gonna go to our other sub battlefield because there's one more before going back to Hulao Gate. So hope you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time. Bye.